when they say village people follow somebody eh, to their in-laws house this is just a typical example guys i went there and guys so his mom was there the mom used to cook so she was like she's going now and she has already fried the akara that i should just make pap you know like you can even use the cocoa to take the pap without the akara it was a disaster come back guys <sighs> So guys, so let me go straight into the story guys. When we were preparing for our, the ceremony for that big day, when we were preparing for the wedding ceremony, I had to like go to his place and spend, was it, was, was, was like spend the weekend. So I went there and, and as I then I was, he was staying with his mom, as I then he was staying with his mom, so I had to like go there. Guys, I've been going to visit him like maybe i think i used to go there like once in a while like every sunday afternoon and i would go back home so i went there and guys so his mom was there and the mom used to cook so so there was this day it was on saturday morning i was there on friday okay i was there on friday saturday sunday sunday morning i was there i think that was after uh registry yes that was after registry so it was on a sunday morning and mom was like i mean my mother-in-law so she was like she's going out to i think she has one program in church and she has already fried the akara that i should just make pap guys to be sincere i used to make pap before it's not like that would be my first time of making pap i used to like it's not my first time i'm very good not really very good but at least i can make pap and people drink my pap which like i should just make pap for my husband and if possible no no i cannot just make for my husband like she's also she also will like eat from it because she has made their car already so on that day i went into the kitchen and the normal procedure i boil water i dissolved the pap because it's you know you dissolve the pap it wasn't so thick, it was normal, like just normal way I used to like do my pal. When they say village people follow somebody eh, to their in-laws house, this is just a typical example guys. So I was, I boiled the water and I poured the water, I poured water inside the pulp and just, you know how you do pulp and you turn. I don't know how it has that lumps, the lumps was so much, you know. Like, you can even use the cocoa to take the pap without the akara. That is what I prepared on that day. It was, it was a disaster. And, you know, I was like, I'd like call my husband and be like, babe, I fucked up big time. I don't know what to do. Like, I don't know. And he was like, oh, it's good. We are going to eat like that. You know, guys, it wasn't making sense. I knew that what I did was really, really total rubbish, but... I'm not in my house. I could have just thrown it away or thrown it away or just do another one. But you no, know, I called him and he was like, Don't worry, we'll take it like that. My husband is not the type that used to like complain about meal. Even if the meal is too salty, he's going to eat it. Guys, you know how guys can be now. Yeah. So it's not the uh choose it time and tell me, oh, this is too peppery. I don't want to go and cook another one. So he was like, Okay, we're going to eat that like that. So then you know guys i was so embarrassed because that would be the first time i'll be cooking for my mother-in-law and it was just pop and you know how people will say pop i'm sure after she saw that pop because when she came back she drank it happily with nothing she she did not even complain about anything from that purple mm -mm. she drank it like i said it was like the best pop ever then she was okay she, i think she put the blame on the pap like maybe it was the pap or something but i knew that it wasn't the pap i don't know why i did that that turned out to be that way so after that day so i think like after like i think the following day so she was like oh she wants to like do a mala like guys i ran to the kitchen i'm like don't worry i'll do that mala because i need to like claim my name that this babe can cook <laughs> like this baby she's just she's not just 
babe babe like she can't cook so that like i prepare i prepare amala and also also it was very very salt and like a normal amala because i'm from Ibadan. so what are you expecting but guys like, i can never forget that day it was just like when they say village people follow somebody to their inners and that's just a typical example and guys you know i was just like why can't i make pap and ever since then that has actually caused like a stigma to me i've never prepared pap ever since that day anytime i like want to prepare pap i'll actually shift it to blind or just find like an excuse so that i won't be the one preparing pap but i think i should try again it's not going to be that bad i don't know i don't even know what happened because i wasn't that bad from that that was three years ago or so that was like three years ago but i think i should be able to prepare pap now guys seriously i just want to like share this story because it was so funny to me and i think what actually like it wasn't a big deal seriously my husband did not pick it up even my mother-in-law did not see it as a big deal but there is this video i was seeing online people are like a hey, pop and you know how it turns out so i was like oh i think i will share this story with you people guys it was very very funny i can't just oh gosh i can't just imagine the like if i should have i think i have that video eh, and show you the video of the pop i made guys you just said that babe carry your load leave your husband's house <laughs> it was so bad like very very bad but is is that was that chat that is just like my story guys i am wish to share this story and i hope you find it interesting guys anyways guys if you are just seeing this face for the very first time this is becca and um, becca is a youtuber based in Baton, nigeria thank you so much for clicking on this video thank you for watching thank you for your time don't forget to like comment and subscribe until then stay blessed bye